first videos that I did was how and where to sleep when you live in a car. However, that was a couple of months ago and since then I've gotten tons of suggestions and input from other people as to like where you can park. So I just want to update that and share with all of you the top 10 most recommended places to sleep. Now, before I get into the actual list, I just want to touch on a couple of guidelines that are pretty general for no matter where you park when you're going to sleep. First of all, there's safety. Safety should be your number one concern no matter where you are. It should always be a priority, and if you don't feel safe somewhere, then you probably shouldn't park there to sleep. Even if it looks well lit and you think in your head like, yeah, this should be okay, but if you personally just do not feel safe, then just go with your gut and don't park there. There's always more places. And that being said, even if you do feel safe, you never know what can happen. It's always good to have something like within reach or really close by and just have a plan of what, you know, things you could do in the case that things do go south because you never know. The second one being always respect the area. No matter if you're in the middle of nowhere or if you're in a residential neighborhood or a business, what, wherever you are parking, just try and keep the noise level down. Don't leave trash around and litter outside. It's just really important to be mindful of other people's property and other people that might actually live there because you're kind of just a guest. So just mind your manners and be respectful. The third one is in regards to stealth. So it's really important to kind of move around a lot. You don't necessarily want to sleep in the same spot all of the time. So just keep it moving, you know, park in a different place. Maybe not every night. I like to switch it up and do every night. It's somewhere different. I do have like a rotation. Um, so once I go through like five places, I might start back over and then kind of switch up the order. It just depends on like what's convenient for you and what works for you. But remember one of the objectives is to be stealthy. You don't want people to realize that you are sleeping in your car. And the fourth has to do with the bathroom. So a lot of people in the middle of the night will have to use the restroom. So keep this in mind when you are finding somewhere to park. It's a good idea to park near places that are open 24 hours so you can have access to the restroom or just try and work it out to where you go to the restroom and then drive to the place that you're going to park and don't consume any liquid, stuff like that, so you can kind of get your body on a schedule after doing this for a while. And I'm not saying that you should, you know, hold it because that can also cause problems, but just be aware that the bathroom is going to be like a thing and so you should just try your best to plan around it. And now, without further ado, the top 10 most recommended places to park for sleeping. Number one being rent a driveway or a piece of land. This is one of those that I have not specifically tried, but it sounds like an amazing idea. From what I understand, people have just gone on Craigslist and posted up an ad, hey, like I just need a place to park my car, and people will offer their driveway or if they have a plot of land, like a little space, like hey, you can park here. So I think that's really cool. That is for people who are more stationary if you live in one location and have like a regular job or you just live in one city and you need a place to go home to every night that could be a great option for you and again from what I was told the couple of people that have said they do that it wasn't very expensive however if you are going to plan on being more mobile and traveling around all the time that might not work for you but who knows maybe if you stay in like a city for a couple months then you could try it. The second one being Walmart. <laughs> Always and forever Walmart. Anyone who lives in a car will tell you Walmart is like the place to go. And most of them are open 24 seven, so that solves your bathroom issues. There are cars going in and out of that parking lot all the time, so they probably won't notice you. Again, it's always good to check the laws of whatever state you're in, um, but Walmart. I, there's, I can't say enough good things about Walmart. I've slept in that parking lot so many times. I especially like it because it's usually pretty well lit and then there's other cars, you know, the, it's just there's always people and there's always lighting. So that makes me feel pretty comfortable. The third one being hospitals. I mean, for obvious reasons, those parking lots are also pretty well lit, also always full of people coming and going at all hours of the night, so it is more inconspicuous. Yeah, that was something else that was recommended to me, and I will definitely be trying that in the future. Number four would be hotel parking lots. Ah, oh, 
my absolute favorite. But okay, you do have to be mindful that some hotels, when guests check in, they will have them write their license plate down, so basically like register their car, so then they go and check, you know, make sure that all the cars that are in their parking lot our guests that are staying there however I have parked at hotel parking lots for like that is my go-to spot that is where I love to park I've had no problems with it I've never had an issue with the car registering thing however that is just something to keep in mind while you're doing it but hands down hotel parking lots are what is up number five being offices or industrial areas so a lot of places will have you know complete sections it's almost like a little inner city um, where it's just businesses offices and there's really not a lot there again not one that I have tried but it was recommended to me it seems like it would work it's not a high traffic area and some of those places have like stalkers or just some sort of workers coming and going again at all hours of the night I would be a little hesitant just because it seems like it's harder to find a bathroom unless it's by a gas station then the office slash industrial areas seem to work out for other people no problem number six rest areas I don't like to sleep at rest areas unless it's during the day just because it seems kind of sketchy to me depending on which type it is I mean if it's the ones that have like the full-on bathrooms and showers and little information center those are a little more normal if it's just the ones that are like a toilet and a picnic bench uh, they just kind of sketch me out because I feel like that's like prime hunting ground for a kidnapper I like I said I don't know what I'm basing this off of it's just how I feel I have definitely used rest areas before I don't personally know anyone who's had a problem with them but as far as I'm concerned I don't like to sleep there overnight but that's just me and that kind of goes with number seven truck stops truck stops are awesome because you know truckers no matter what time of day it is, they, they're tired, they've been traveling a really long distance, they just need some time to recoup, you know? So there's people going in and out of there all the time, they have showers, so that's a really good one to consider. Number eight being residential areas, and this is kind of where it's, granted all of these imply that general guideline of being respectful, but more so in a residential area. If you're going to park on a random street where people live, you know, don't park in front of their house, like right in front of their door, you know, or like take up their space where they're gonna park, like that's just rude, you know? I tend to try and park like on like a corner house where when you turn the corner they kind of just have their backyard fence going along the side I'll usually park right there or just as out of the way as I possibly can if I'm going to park in a residential neighborhood I usually won't show up till like 9 or 10 p.m. like till I'm actually going to go to sleep so way after the Sun has gone down and I am out of there at the crack of dawn like 5 or 6 in the morning it's not a good look for the neighborhood in a lot of people's minds and it's understandable so again be respectful and it's a really good idea to try and like just get in and out of there as soon as possible just do what you got to do get your sleep and then bounce so the last two are definitely more for if you're on a road trip or if you're traveling constantly so number nine would be campgrounds there are some campgrounds that are like by lakes and stuff that are really close to the city not a bad idea usually campgrounds will have showers or access to restrooms so that's something to think about and then of course if you pay the campground fee like five dollars a night then no one's gonna bother you and it might even be a nice break because you can park your car there pitch a tent you know you don't necessarily have to sleep all cramped up in the car you can get a little break and and have your tent and spread out and it could be wonderful who knows and then so number 10 being BLM land or national forest land they each have their own rules so you should check that out but overall, you're pretty much free to do you as long as you don't litter, you know, aren't obnoxious, and you just, just do what you're supposed to do. Go there, sleep, chill if you're gonna chill, and then, and then leave. That's all. So just to sum it up, number one was rent a driveway or a piece of land. Two was Walmart. Three was hospitals. Four, hotels. 
five offices or industrial areas, six was rest areas, seven truck stops, eight residential areas, nine campgrounds, and number 10 was BLM land or national forest land. I'm sure there are plenty more places to park your car when you're gonna sleep, so if you have any suggestions, then please put them in the comments, that way, you know, the rest of us can benefit from them. Anyways, I hope this list helped you guys out in some way, and stay safe, have an awesome life, see y'all later.